As uh, we all know by now, yesterday, special counsel Robert Mueller finally dropped tracks from his highly anticipated new album, Kremlinate. <laughs> and it was huge news. It was huge news. So obviously the question for Republican leaders was, how do you respond when asked about these charges? Do you defend Trump and risk your integrity or do you defend the rule of law and risk angering Donald Trump? And I think Senator Chuck Grassley had the best answer, which was to just get gone. Anybody have any questions for Senator Grassley? I have a question about a different Catholic named Paul Manafort. Uh, <laughs> if you'll take... Uh, That's why I said this time. Uh, let me just ask you this. Anybody have any questions? Uh, former Cambridge Chair Paul Manafort was indicted today. That really isn't our job. That's not our wheelhouse. But that's uh, my that's, question that's, is that's the question special. Is no, if you'll, if you'll, if you'll give me... If you, will you... just disappears. <laughs> Pray to God you are in the room with Grassley when there is a fire. <laughs> because he will find the exit. He will find it. The only catch is you have to ask him about Manafort. There's no escape. We're all gonna die. Oh, what happened with Manafort? I found a trap door. I found a trap door. <laughs> and I know some people were like, hey, look, maybe the senator had a bathroom emergency. I'm like, yeah, the dude was <laughs> his pants, clearly. <laughs> Now, not everyone yesterday could escape the room like Sneaky Chuck over here, but <laughs> they did find different ways to deal with the uh, Mueller indictments. For instance, former Trump campaign manager Corey Lewandowski, who basically said that it's the FBI's fault for letting them hire Paul Manafort. If it is true that Paul was under a FISA warrant prior to coming under the campaign, then I think the FBI should have probably notified the campaign and said, look, you've got a person here who is currently under surveillance. You're still welcome to hire them, but at least right. we make you aware of it. Uh, I think you're confusing the FBI with HR. <laughs> like, maybe I missed the movie where the FBI busts in shouting, freeze, don't hire that guy. He doesn't actually know Excel. And by the way, your print is out of toner. <laughs> FBI, at your service. <laughs> Blaming the, the FBI was a novel path to take, uh, but sometimes the classics are the classics. And last night, my friends, Sean Hannity held a master class on how to flip the script, AKA, what about? What about investigating their roles in Russia? Hillary Clinton's State Department, Eric Holder signed off on the deal a year later. Bill Clinton makes a fortune, doubles his speaking fees, paid with a check from a bank that has a financial interest in Uranium One. The Fusion GPS Hillary DNC President Obama funded dossier. Damn, Sean Hannity, look at you, you middle-aged white tiger. Wow! <laughs> Obama, Clinton, and Uranium One GPS fusion. I feel like that's the closest Sean Hannity will ever come to a rap battle. <laughs> For real, just give that man a hoodie and a parking garage, and he's going viral. This is beyond incestuous. What about investigating their roles in Russia? Hillary Clinton's State Department, Eric Holder signed off on the deal a year later. Bill Clinton makes a fortune, doubles his speaking fees, paid with a check from a bank that has a financial interest in Uranium One. America tonight is at a crisis point. Will we have equal justice under the law, or will America just be a banana republic? Ticket, 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 Sean Shady. 